Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the singing legend Manna De. Some interesting episodes in his life and his personal and professional life. Please watch the video till the end and don't skip any part as the video is packed with some interesting and unheard episodes in his life in between. Mr. Manna De was born in Kolkata in May 1919 as Prabhu Chandra De. He was given the nickname Manna by his uncle K C De, a well-known singer and actor who was a great influence on his nephew. Manna's husky voice dominated the soundtracks of Indian movie classics for more than 60 years. His father's name was Poona Chandra De and mother's name was Mahamaya De. His initial education was from Scottish Church Collegiate and he pursued his higher studies from Vidya Sagar College. As a classical vocalist, he belonged to the Bhendi Bazar Gharana and was trained under Ustad Aman Ali Khan and Ustad Abdul Rahman Khan. In a career spanning over five decades, Mr. De recorded around 3,500 songs. Though he had lived in Mumbai for more than 50 years, he had a special affection for Bangalore because this was where he married Mrs. Sulochana Kumaran, who was originally from Kannur, Kerala. Mr. Manna De started his career in playback singing with the movie Tamanna in 1942. The musical score was given by his uncle and guru Krishna Chandra De, and Manna sang a duet named Jago Aayi Usha Pochi Bole Jago with Suraya. But it was only in 1943 that he got his first solo break with a film called Ram Rajya, with his first song Gayi Tu Gayi Sita Sati. He became nationally famous after the release after the release of Do Bigha Zameen. in 1953 where two of the songs sung by him and composed by salil chaudhary became hits his association with shankar jaykishan and producer raj kapoor had begun while working for avara but their combination became famous while working together for boot polish in 1954 the raj kapoor manna de combination produced super hits both music and film the only exception being mera naam joker where the songs were chart busters but the film was a flop mr de sang the fast peppy ones the classical numbers and the romantic duets he sang more than 95% of raj kapoor's super hit duets and the naughty numbers he has the rare distinction of doing playback for both father and son raj kapoor and ranveer kapoor in fact de saab later sang for rishi kapoor mr de turned into an independent music composer in hindi films with mahapooja in 1954 manada teamed up with kalyanji anand ji lakshmikant pyare lal and adi barman his rendition of kasme vaade pyar from upkar 1967 pictured on pran and composed by kalyanji anand one accolades and was also significant in pran's career as he began to do positive roles one of his songs with kalyanji anand ji includes yari hai iman meri from zanzeer de sahab sang 101 hindi songs along with rafi ji which include ishq ishq barsat ki raat tu hai mera prem devta mama o oh mama duniya ke liye main hu tera prem aur tu hai meri pran hindustan ki kasam hum to tere tere hain hind diwane and ye do diwane dil ke There are some interesting stories of Rafi ji and Manna Das mutual admiration for each other. Muhammad um, Rafi ji had once admitted that though the whole world is crazy about his songs he only listens to the one and only Manna Das songs. Such was the admiration they shared for each other. Manna Das once shared an interesting experience with Rafi sahab. Both of them had a common hobby of flying kites and they and they used to stay incidentally uh, beside each other. So while flying kites it seems Rafi ji's kites always used to get cut by Manna Das kites when Rafi ji once confronted Manna Das how he managed to always cut his kites Manna Das smilingly and jokingly told him that Rafi ji was very good at heart and innocent that's why his kites always used to get cut friends while the whole world adored Rafi ji Rafi ji himself adored Manna Das his golden era in the playback arena was 1953 to 1976 it was perhaps the time when almost every male star used to enjoy his signature playback voice Mohammad Rafi ji for Dilip Kumar Kishor Kumar for Rajesh Khanna and Mukesh for Raj Kapoor but it was Manna Das who broke the tradition and lent his voice to a number of actors beat Balraj Sahani Mahmood 
राज कपूर राजेश खन्ना राजकुमार और धर्मेंद्रा इन बॉलीवुड एंड उत्तम कुमार टू शोमित्र चैटर्जी इन बंगाली सिनेमा Some of his cult songs in this period include "Ay Meri Zohar Zameen" from Waqt in 1965, "Tu Pyar Ka Sagar Hai" from Seema in 1955, "Laga Chunri Me Daag" from Dil Hai To Hai 1963, and "Yari Hai Iman Mera" from Zanzeer 1974. Another, another interesting experience shared by uh, Mr. Manna Day was that when he was re rehearsing his first ever song. in malayalam manasa maina varu when his younger daughter peeped in and asked what the song was about and what language it was in manna they remembered telling her that the song was for a malayalam film called chamin and the music was composed by salil choudhury who was also working for the first time on a malayalam project his daughter made a face the singer said and told him to play the song for her mother she told him that her mother will help him with it because he was not familiar with malayalam while his mother was fluent in the language manna da said it was a very humbling experience his wife sulochana whose wife family came from kerala and who spoke fluent malayalam coached him thoroughly for several days the film directed by ramu karyat became a huge hit not only in the south but also in other indian states the film received many important awards and manna da himself shared in the honors friends how many of you know that manna da also excelled in yodeling and singing in a style which was known as the forte of kishor kishor da the song picnic me picnic me tik tik from pia milan ki aas in 1961 composed by s n tripathi is noted for mr manna day manna day's yodeling feat the legendary kishor kumar once famously praised manna day saying only manna da could invest a song with the emotions that were needed and fill it with exceptional feelings so manna day recorded around 31 songs with kishor da from 1951 to 1987 and all of them became chart busters The demand for Kishore Day combination only grew after 1972. Their popular songs were Mere Pyale Me from Amir Garib in 1974, Ye Dosti from Shole 1975 and Duniya Me Jeene from Naukri. After the release of Aradhana in 1969, Kishore Kumar's stature in the music world increased in leaps and bounds and eclipsed the careers of the legendary singers of those times Mukesh and Rafi ji. However, Manna Da enjoyed an extended lease of life till 1975. Some of the famous songs in this period were "Tujhe Suraj Kahu Ya Chanda" and his duet with Shailendra Singh from Bobby "Na Mango Sona Chandi." Friends, how many of you have heard this interesting fact about the mutual mutual admiration that the legendary musician Manna Da shared with the legendary superstar of those times, Rajesh Khanna? Manna Da. was a big admirer of bollywood icon rajesh khanna and once said about him i loved the way he used to make the music sync with the picture the success of a song always depends on an actor's potential to pictureize it and rajesh khanna was the number one in this regard frankly speaking i will be ever indebted to him rajesh khanna himself adored manna da singing prowess and recommended mr manna day to music directors to cast him in his films this gave an extended lease of life to manna das bollywood songs while the careers of the legendary other legendary singers like mukesh and rafi ji were slowly getting eclipsed some of the popular songs that mr day sung for mr khanna are zindagi kaise hai paheli from anand in 1971 tum bin jeevan kaise ji jeevan and bhor आए गए अंधेरा बावरछी 1972 एंड गोरी तोरी पैजनिया महबूबा 1976 टॉकिंग अबाउट मिस्टर मन्ना देस पर्सनल लाइफ ही मैरिड मिसेस सुलोचना कुमारन हु वाज ओरिजिनली फ्रॉम कन्नूर केरला ही फर्स्ट मेट हर इन मुंबई एट अ रविंद्र संगीत रिसाइटल ऑर्गेनाइज्ड बाय द इंडियन कल्चरल लीग इन मे 1948 टुगेदर दे हैड टू डॉटर्स Shurama Harekar a US based scientist who passed away in 2015 at the age of 60 and Shumita Dev a Bangalore based business woman Sulochana died in Bengaluru in January 2012 Mr Manna Dev breathed his last on 24th October 2013 in Bengaluru at the age of 94
there is an episode before his death associated with his daughter shumita it is said that she was miffed with west bengal chief minister mamata banerji and ignored her when she came down to bangalore to pay her condolences apparently mamata banerji didn't respond properly when shumita called her to tell her about her father's demise instead of offering condolences mamata reportedly told her to bring the body to bengal for cremation to honor his lifelong contribution to indian music manna de was awarded padma shri in 1971 He was conferred Padma Bhushan in in 2005, the Dada Saheb Phalke in 2007, and in 2011 Bongo Vibhushan by the West Bengal government. He was presented the Film Fair Lifetime Achievement Award in 2011. Manna De is an eternal legend and continues and will continue to enjoy his legendary status as long as music exists. Friends. That's all in this video. Please mention in the comment box if there is any other episode in the life of Manna De that I might have missed in this video. Also, please let me know which song of Manna De is your favorite. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting videos. Till then, goodbye and take care. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat.